Is that supposed to make it better? Hopefully. Hmm. It doesn't. I don't know what's going on with you. Where's this coming from? I want more. You mean you want kids? Maybe. For starters, I like a husband I see for more than 10 hours a week. You don't have kids to keep you company, Gabby. Thank you, Dennis. I'd forgotten what it's like to be seven. Sarcasm's an unattractive trait. Damn it, Dennis, don't you dare lecture me. Fine. I have to go to work. The memorial's today. Will I see him? If I'm there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just dragging a little. <sighs> Gabby, do you think the people can change? I mean, really change? I, I think under certain circumstances, people can do things you wouldn't expect of them otherwise. People just make bad choices sometimes. No, I, I mean, do you think that people can change their nature? You know, teach an old dog new tricks, or a dog change its spots. Leopard. What? <laughs> it's a leopard that can't change its spots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this about Ben? What? No, why would this be about Ben? Is it because he's a dog and dogs can't change their spots? You said that. Well, you said that he was a man whore. Again, not me, although I must admit I have thought it, but you've thought it too. It's why you've been tiptoeing around him all this time. Have you guys talked about commitment? Not really. We just keep falling into bed or onto the couch or... Oh wait, at the couch in your living room? Yeah, that's where we first did it. Oh, I ate off that couch. <laughs> so did he. <laughs> Gross. It's horrible. Oh, it wasn't, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, I, you know, I never, I, want, I don't ever want to mess up the moment. So, I just never bring it up. I don't want to mess up our friendship. Once you have sex, the friendship is done. It'll never be the same. <sighs> you ready? Yes. Go. Go. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, look, I don't think he's the one. Why did you think that? He doesn't have the patience. He's reckless. He's not the man we're looking for. What about the partner? It's tough to get close to him. He keeps his hand close to his vest, and he doesn't trust me any more than he trusts Edward, so I've been keeping a closer eye on him now, but from a distance. We don't have a lot of time on this one, Wes. We have to move as quick as possible. I know. It won't be long now. I'll make sure of it. Okay. Take care. So sorry for your loss. I'll be deeply missed. If there's anything that we can do for you, please don't hesitate to come to me personally. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. You're welcome. Good job. You almost had me with that. Then again, I remember you have more bloggers here than most Rico's family. The public should be allowed to mourn with us. Can't believe Cheryl was able to pull this off so quickly. Thank you. Thank you yourself. Cheryl, I was just telling your husband what a great job you did throwing this together. You know I'm far too anal to throw anything together, Dennis. Besides, bottom line needs to look and smell like roses. How foolish of me. Thank you nonetheless. Two bloggers are discussing the conspicuous absence of Emilio. They're wondering why the producer on Los Ricos' most successful album isn't here. Hmm. Were they talking about his other work at all? 
Dennis believes any press is good press. Well, Mel Gibson may disagree, but there's some validity to that. Los Rico's cells are up. I haven't seen Gabby. How is she? Here she is now. Better late than never. Do you think he knows? I don't think he has a clue. You know, I love crystals, but I think my suggestion was a little bit better. Your suggestion was a motel. I said I was open to having delivery. <laughs> I think we should talk. Oh. No, no, not like that. I just, I just want to talk about what we're doing. Well, if you would have met me at the motel, I could have shown you. Okay, that's what we keep doing. We keep having sex and not talking. We never had the morning after talk and I just, I just wanna see where we stand. Like I said, I know. Okay, you can relax. I don't expect anything from you, Ben. I just wanted you to know that. Dang, I didn't mean. Do you know what you want? I know that I want you. And I always have. Then what's with the uh-oh? Deeply rooted fear of rejection? <laughs> Dana, we've been friends a long time, and you know that I've always had feelings for you. I've just been waiting for you to play catch-up. You know, I get whatever reservations you have about me, I do. But I want you to know that whatever this is, I am in it all the way. Well, why didn't you just say so? Hey, lady, how are you? Wow. You look like you're still sipping from the fountain of youth. No, it's you. You're positively glowing. What are you doing? Uh, just outside, it's the heat. No, it's something more than that. Come on, you're almost effervescent. It's, not, it's nothing, really. You can let me in on your little secret. Dennis, I was just telling your wife how good she's looking. Isn't she? But this is always. No, something is different. But if you find out her little secret, let me know. Excuse me, I see someone. Zach, stop it. Could you wait to light that cancer stick? Aren't you supposed to be doing something crazy like, I don't know, your job? It's dead in there. Simone can handle it. So you're saying you don't need to be on the clock? No, I'm saying I need to talk to you. Regale me, quickly. I need Thursday nights off for the next six weeks. It's for this really great acting class with- Wait, wait, why do you need acting classes for porn? It wasn't porn. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Amber, you mind if I borrow Zach for a second? Sure, honey. Did you have a chance to think about what I asked? Yes. And I can't do that for you, honey. Look, I like you, okay? I do. But the shitstorm this would create is not worth it. There won't be a shitstorm because no one's gonna know about it. Please, okay. come on, the money's for my son. Why don't you take a couple days shifts? I need two girls for Monday. Day shifts won't help. 
It's never a packed house, and you have to work twice as hard to make a third of the tips because they can't see past the crust in their eyes. They have morning breath, Zach. Well, sometimes you have to do what you have to do, Lynette. Oh, and I'm willing to do that. Uh, well, you're barking up the wrong tree with those, sweetie. Why don't you put the tatas away until somebody flashes you a bell? Look, Lynette, I want to help you, okay? But I'm not a bank. I have my own family to take care of. All right, look. If you really need the money, call this guy. But, but trust me, it better be worth it. Gabby, I just heard. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I was just locked in there for a few minutes. Well, how did this happen? She doesn't know. I must have locked it on my way in. I'm so sorry this had to happen to you. I'm going to look into seeing and getting those locks changed. And I'm not going to listen to anything your husband has to say about the budget. Our priority should be keeping the people we care about safe. Take care of her, Dennis. It would be a pity if something were to happen to a woman as lovely as Gabby. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs>